Hey, what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and it's been very long since I did a video on a build uh, for Windows 10 Mobile and that's because the latest builds, they don't really bring anything new only bug fixes and more bug fixes and more bug fixes and those bug fixes aren't like even that important they are like for Cortana um, then for uh, for music and stuff like that and I uh, didn't want to make a video a whole video on a build that doesn't bring anything new and this build it's all al it's almost the same let me show you the number it's 15051 and this build again doesn't bring like anything new compared to the two builds that I skipped it brings only bug fixes uh, but this build um, I recommend it like 50 50 to install it because uh, for performance it works kind of okay, uh, the apps do don't really crash, I had already two restarts and Microsoft mentions that uh, this build it might restart even if you're, for example if you're calling someone it might restart, which that's a big problem. And another bug that I found uh, with this build, previous builds, this has been also a problem, they fixed, now with this it's again back. If I try to charge, let's plug in, if I try to charge, I'm gonna get the the error that it's charging slowly. USB de device is charging slowly, blah blah blah. I used this cable previously um, and I had no problems and with this build again I have this problem. Um, I know this problem was before, uh, was before in previous builds, they fixed it, now it's back again. Not sure if uh, it's because it, the, the build needs a hard reset or not, but the bug is here and it's a very annoying bug, can't really fix it. And in this build, I got again the problem that I had in previous builds and then on like two builds back, it got fixed, now this is again back here. I think this bug especially, it's because the the build needs a hard reset. Um, I opened the browser, I, I typed instantly a website and you see the website doesn't answer. Uh, now the only way to ans to, to fix that is to, to close the tab and then reopen again and then the second time it works. Uh, I spoke about this bug previously in like uh, two builds behind and then once it got fixed now it's back again not sure if it's my it's my phone or it's uh, the build overall but overall the the OS works fine also one problem that they mention is for example if you have uh, let's open tubecast for example if you have like certain apps on the background uh, once you once you go for example I open tubecast I go to main menu and once if I want to go back to that application it might not want to work it might not want to go back to that application tubecast it went back they mentioned like OneDrive camera might have this problem doesn't mean that it have that problem but it might have that problem as you saw camera just in instantly crashed let's try to open the second time sometimes it happens this you open the first time it crashes and then the second time it works uh, doesn't even want to open but I guess the camera the camera will be fixed once I restart the phone. The, the build is not really stable stable. But of course it might be like I said it might be my build that wants a hard reset. And like I said this build has problem with with apps on the background. Let's try to to go back to Tubecast to see if it will open or not. And I think it's trying to opening but you see it takes so much time. In the end it opened but it takes so much time. So this build doesn't really, it's not really recommended for me, as you can see here and there some stutters. Uh, the, all, the, all the apps mostly work, but you saw their camera kind of not. And then the battery, I don't really like the battery on this build. Uh, even the previous build was kind of okay -ish. and this build I also don't like it. It's 4 p.m. and I have like 27%. Yeah, in the morning I had like... 70-60% but now I'm 27% so the battery is not that good for me in this build but again it might be just a just a problem of restarting or resetting the build which uh, most of the times when you reset the build it works so yeah like I said if you want to risk to install this build just go for it I don't really recommend it because of these uh, little bugs uh, but if you want to hard reset the phone then of course you, you can install this build but anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.